Washington A. President Trump vowed on Monday to pull back from military involvement in the Middle East and leave it to others A. to figure the situation out, A. even as some of his Republican allies condemned him for abandoning allies and emboldening regional enemies. In a series of Twitter messages, the president defended his decision to clear the way for a Turkish military operation that could sweep away America's Kurdish allies near the Syrian border, arguing that the internecine conflict among forces in the region was not a top priority for a war-weary United States. AI held off this fight for almost three years, but it is time for us to get out of these ridiculous endless wars, many of them tribal, and bring our soldiers home, a Mr. Trump wrote. A we will fight where IT is to our benefit, and only fight to win. Turkey, Europe, Syria, Iran, Iraq, Russia and the Kurds will now have to figure the situation out, A. Eh? But after a flood of criticism from congressional Republicans, Mr. Trump pivoted hours later, saying that he would prevent Turkey from going too far, without explaining what he meant or where that line would be drawn. A as I have stated strongly before, and just to reiterate, if Turkey does anything that I, in my great and unmatched wisdom, consider to be off-limits, I will totally destroy and obliterate the economy of Turkey, IAVE done before, a he wrote. A Defense Department official said that the presidential's tweet removed any ambiguity about whether Mr. Trump had endorsed a Turkish attack on the Kurds. A The Department of Defense made clear to Turkey a as did the president a that we do not endorse a Turkish operation in northern Syria, a said Jonathan Hoffman, the Pentagon spokesman, in a statement. A the U.S. armed forces will not support or be involved in any operation. A the presidential's abrupt decision on Sunday to defer to Turkey's desire to intervene in Syria overrode the objections of the Pentagon and State Department, which sought to maintain a small American troop presence in northeastern Syria and caught even some of Mr. Trump's top supporters off guard. Republican hawks in Congress joined with Democrats in castigating the president and promising to try to sanction Turkey if it followed through with its plans. A look at who is affected by Trump's shift in Syria. A if I did not see Donald Trump's name on the tweet, I would have thought it was Obama's rationale for getting out of Iraq, a Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina and usually one of the presidential's most vocal backers, said on Fox News. As with President Barack Obama's decision to pull out American troops from Iraq in 2011, Mr. Graham said, Mr. Trump's withdrawal would create a vacuum for remnants of the Islamic State, President Bashar al-Assad of Syria and others to surge forward again. A this is a big win for Iran and Assad, a big win for ISIS, a Mr. Graham said, using another term for the Islamic State. A I will do everything I can to sanction Turkey if they step one foot in northeastern Syria. That will sever my relationship with Turkey. I think most of the Congress feels that way. A. Mr. Graham said he would also introduce a non-binding resolution asking Mr. Trump to reconsider his move, which he called a short-sighted and irresponsible A. The presidential's assertion that the Islamic State has been defeated is A. The biggest lie being told by this administration. A Mr. Graham added. The announcement set off a swift and bipartisan backlash from other lawmakers as well. Rep. Liz Cheney of Wyoming, a member of the House Republican leadership, called withdrawing United States forces from northern Syria a, a catastrophic mistake. A Senator Marco Rubio, Republican of Florida, said it would be a, a grave mistake that will have implications far beyond Syria. A. Nikki Haley, Mr. Trump's former ambassador to the United Nations, joined the chorus. A. We must always have the backs of our allies, if we expect them to have our back, A. She wrote on Twitter. A. The Kurds were instrumental in our successful fight against ISIS in Syria. Leaving them to die is a big mistake. Number Turkey is not our friend A. Senator Mitt Romney, Republican of Utah, shared a tweet from Mr. Graham and added his own thoughts. A. The presidential's decision to abandon our Kurd allies in the face of an assault by Turkey is a betrayal, A. He wrote. A. It says that America is an unreliable ally, it facilitates ISIS resurgence, and it presages another humanitarian disaster. A. Senator Rand Paul, Republican of Kentucky and one of the presidential's staunchest defenders, 
emerged as the lone congressional backer of the move. The President A once again fulfills his promises to stop our endless wars and have a true America first foreign policy, a Mr. Paul wrote on Twitter. Some conservatives also came to the presidential's defense. A some will cast any deal W slash Turkey as at real Donald Trump getting close W slash a dictator, a Hugh Hewitt, the talk show host, wrote. A Eda S not. Eda S dealing with the realities that we can't stay forever a. Mr. Trump came to office promising to get out of overseas wars, contending that the country's military involvement in Afghanistan, Iraq and elsewhere since the attacks of September 11, 2001, has been largely a waste of lives and money with little to show for it. A similarly sudden decision last winter to pull American troops out of Syria prompted Defense Secretary Jim Mattis to resign, and Brett McGurk, the special presidential envoy to the coalition fighting the Islamic State, accelerated his own planned departure in protest. The Senate, led by Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, the majority leader, relayed their displeasure in January when it voted overwhelmingly to rebuke Mr. Trump over his planned withdrawal of military forces from Syria and Afghanistan. Mr. Trump later walked back his decision in Syria to some extent, but has been frustrated not to be doing more to extricate the United States from entanglements in the region. His supporters said the latest move should therefore not be a surprise and the Kurds had fair warning. The decision came after a telephone call with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey. American officials indicated that the 100 to 150 United States military personnel deployed to northeastern Syria would be pulled back in advance of any Turkish operation, but that they would not be completely withdrawn from Syria. The Kurdish forces in the area, part of the Syrian Democratic Forces, or SDF, have been the most reliable American ally in the region for years a critical element in recapturing territory once controlled by the Islamic State. But Turkey has long considered the Kurdish fighters to be terrorists and has lobbied the United States to abandon support for them. A. The United States was supposed to be in Syria for 30 days, that was many years ago, a Mr. Trump wrote on Monday. A. We stayed and got deeper and deeper into battle with no aim in sight. A. Now, he said, it is time to leave. He offered little sympathy for the fate of America's Kurdish allies, a the Kurds fought with us, a he wrote, a but were paid massive amounts of money and equipment to do so a. Mr. Trump has been particularly irritated that the United States continues to pay to detain thousands of Islamic State fighters. For months, he has tried to pressure European states and others to take those fighters who originated from there, only to run into strong resistance. A Europe did not want them back, they said you keep them USA, a Mr. Trump wrote. A I said a no, we did you a great favor and now you want us to hold them in US prisons at tremendous cost. They are yours for trials a they again said a no, a thinking, as usual, that the US is always the a sucker, a on NATO, on trade, on everything a. But if Turkey moves against the Kurds, the SDF could abandon camps to fight the Turks, potentially allowing some 10,000 captured Islamic State fighters, including 2,000 foreigners, to escape. United States military officers were trying to reassure the SDF in hopes of avoiding such a scenario.